Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, I'm completely surprised with the drama that's surrounding NBA Youngboy and his baby mother, not only Drea, but also Jania Michelle as well. Now yesterday, NBA Youngboy took to his producer's Instagram account to completely go off on his baby mothers because they have posted some tweets about them being single mothers. And also, Drea have posted about NBA Youngboy not being in their child's life. Let's go ahead and get into the tweets and then we're going to go ahead and get into what NBA Youngboy had to say, as well as Jania Michelle. Now, Drea said, I've been quiet today, the day though. I ain't never met a gold digger who wasn't satisfied by money. Speak on everything but the main issue. Trey all the money in the world for my youngest daughter to have a father. Now, Jania also tweeted and she said, it's amazing seeing men be real fathers, especially with me growing up without one. I just love it for the kids that actually have it. She also said, but boy, oh boy, a single moms out here with no breaks no financial help literally making it come together for our kids because we have no other choice we got this it's not always going to be easy but remember why you're doing great now after this of course a lot of people were insinuating that these two are saying that NBA young boy is not being a part of his kids life and that he is not being a father and that they are shading NBA young boy like I said NBA young boy decided to not take to his account because he doesn't have an account on Instagram but he decided to take to his producer's account and this is what he wrote about Jania Michelle and Drea he said I'm a real blank B your boyfriend a HOE I was cool with him until he put my son out of the car and made him walk let's speak the truth y'all don't want to do this with me don't effing lie on me dealing with my kids them and this money is all i got now that was nba young boy directing his message towards jania michelle and her boyfriend DeJounte Murray. Youngboy is basically saying that DeJounte allegedly kicked Casey out of the car and made him walk. Then he said, every time you call me, I'm there for your dog. A, you play with me like a fool every time, B. You've been doing that. You gotta pee though. So you believe, you know, I ain't lying, B. And I calls for him. You ignore me just like the cock-eyed one. It's good though. Fake don't hold up. Makeup wear off queen. He also said, you sad lying fake b i do not like you and that's the softest way that i can put that because he definitely says something else i still got the flight in my phone that i paid for and booked after you called me crying you really pretend for these people b they see my flaws good and bad even though that's bad i'm 100 percent me hoe just stay off of the internet mentioning me he also said it's either you broke or can't keep a man or want my d or either touching 30 mad that the money ain't satisfying you gold digged up a baby out of the situation it's lovely on this end he also said my wedding in january we finna get it all out of the way now now that's basically nba young boy saying look we're gonna go ahead and get this whole situation situated before my wedding comes he's also saying that he's happy and he's going off on his baby mother saying that they're just not satisfied with their lives and what they have going on and that's basically why they are saying what they are saying and calling him out for not being a quote-unquote good dad now i was surprised to see nba young boys speak on his baby mothers like this i mean calling them hoes and saying that he completely dislikes them and he didn't even use the dislike word i'm just saying that to be soft but he said that he h-a-t-e them that is a lot and these are his baby mothers now like i I said i feel like there should be a certain amount of respect that he should have for his baby mothers to not call them out like this i can understand anybody being upset but this is definitely not the way to handle it especially when these women are majority of the time taking care of your children or that's the way that they are putting it now today jania decided to get on instagram live and address the situation she actually asked her son casey on instagram live did Dejounte ever kick us out and casey agreed and he said no jania also got further into the situation and admitted that casey just does not like being with his dad and be a young boy and over his house she says that every time she tries to get casey to spend quality time with 
his father and be a young boy and she takes him over his house Casey always ends up calling her and saying that he wants to leave he never likes to be over there Casey even went as far as wanting to stay over his grandmother's house and he was scared that his mom was going to eventually still take him to his dad's house like I said this is a very very sad situation Jania also ended up crying on Instagram live saying that sometimes she gets concerned and scared with her bringing KC over his dad's house now I'm not really sure why KC is completely uncomfortable with being over his dad's house maybe he's just not used to him maybe he's more used to his mother but like I said this situation in its entirety is completely sad I kind of wish that these three would have talked things out behind closed doors off of social media but it seems like this situation completely blew up on social media regardless of what anybody say there should have been more respect from both parties or all three parties in this situation enough to say okay there's kids involved in this situation we need to put our feelings to the side and actually address everything about the kids and do it off of social media so this won't stay on social media and so the kids don't eventually have to grow up and see that we were arguing like this I know NBA Youngboy is a lot of people's favorites but I definitely feel like he could have handled the situation different y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below Jania and Drea definitely could have handled the situation different but what do you expect if they are basically saying that they can't really even get in contact with him who knows what's really going on behind closed doors I'm not taking anybody's side in this situation i'm saying that both parties could have did different in this situation but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to Nicki minaj now Nicki minaj is definitely trending right now because recently she had a show in philly to be specific she performed at the powerhouse festival this is one of the biggest festivals ever and she decided to get on stage and show off her flexibility skills and of course, people recorded it and then this went viral on social media basically because she was like on the ground and she was stretching her legs on stage. Now also, Roland Ray had something to say about Nicki Minaj doing this on stage. I mean, he completely called her out from her hair, from her outfit, from her boots and everything. And people were actually agreeing with Roland Ray. Now I'm not sure if it's because a lot of people are just upset with Nicki Minaj right now but it definitely seems like a lot of people have some type of animosity towards her where they were talking about her performance in a not so positive way but in all honesty I see nothing wrong with Nicki Minaj's performance it just seems like she was being her you know fun goofy self on stage and she really wanted to give her fans a show like I said I don't feel like it was that bad she didn't call nobody out she wasn't doing anything crazy even though people may see that as crazy crazy it just seemed like she was having fun with her performance and trying to make it memorable but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments last but not least let's go ahead and move on to asian doll now asian doll wants to let it be known that she is not dating anyone she is not in a relationship with anyone sometimes asian doll is seen with multiple guys at different times and a lot of news or bloggers will report that she's dating these guys or a lot of us will think that you know maybe she's with this guy because the way that they're holding hands and together and all up on each other but she's letting it be known she's not in a relationship this is what she posted to her social media just the other day she said stop saying i'm in a relationship bro i'm not i'm getting money and stacking and saving and spending focused on me i've literally only dated just to get over my love I lost I'm not emotionally attached to nobody I'm not in love or even talking to dudes I do me and that's it just thought that I'll share that with y'all because y'all swear that y'all know me on bro I don't care about these boys at all so she's letting it be known she's focused on the money but anyways this is the end of this video y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching room for tea Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys have a blessed rest of your night.